Hi, uh, my name is Ian Sharp, and the video blog that I'm about to do is related to a uh, video that I've just seen, actually. It was called, um, sorry, just bear with me a second. It's called uh, The Lost Book of Notre Dame. Now, I found it quite a manipulative source of information. It was done by the History Channel, actually. Um, and I'm not going to explain everything that I see wrong with it, just two basic points which really do question, leave questions in my head about the rest of the legitimacy of the documentary in its own right. Um, and it's the way that it starts off um, when it first starts looking at the quatrains, because I mean it does look at the, uh, it does focus a lot on the images now. Um, even some of the images, um, the, the explanations I give for some of the images, um, I have a lot of questions about really. Um, but I'm just going to start and keep this relatively short and stick with the two things that are mainly prob uh, pro ugh, if I could find the right word um, pertinent shall we say um, to my thoughts and what I felt was wrong with it just from the start um, I mean it starts with the um, opening quarter and saying under the false guise of faith of the shaved heads many saboteurs shall be shown watering the wells and fountains with poison human devourers of the strength of the west um, now the first thing they do is say under the false guise of faith highlighting it and then highlight many saboteurs shall be shown and immediately they're turning around and saying oh that must mean the Muslims and the attackers of the Twin Towers. What they fail to do is look at the whole first part of that sentence before the comma i.e. under the false guise of faith of the shaved heads many saboteurs shall be shown now my th these are just my opinions basically so there's no fact base on it it's just a case of my opinions and what I think after watching documentary and it's right I could be wrong but when I read that for a start if I was reading that and then translating it I wouldn't necessarily say oh that must be the Muslims because as we know um, most of those people that they pointed out as the so-called terrorist bombers were actually later found alive so basically they're relying on information which has already been proved wrong to make a statement on the basis that that's what Notre Dame is trying to say. When you look at the actual first segment, under the false guise of faith, blah blah blah, um, basically uh, what he says to me is the, the the people that are behind it are actually people who are men who pretend to be of faith, are under the pretense of being of a religion and a faith they're using faith and religion as an excuse um, which as we've witnessed has caused two wars which are still going on aren't reported in the media but still going on um, you know the media keep sort of making out oh, one minute saying oh well, they're gonna pull out soon blah 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 and then the next minute you never hear a goddamn thing and then three months later down the road they're saying oh well, we're staying in again um, and so the story goes on. Anyway, the point of, that I'm making of this is that within that first part, they miss out the important bit of the shaved heads to make the whole sentence, which, if you read it as a whole thing, saying, under the false guise of faith, of the shaved heads, many saboteurs shall be shown. Um, not only does it say it's men who are pretending to be of faith, but let's say the use of the words of the shaved heads was basically, let's say if Notre Dame had seen what Nazis were in our day and age, as in the stereotypical Nazi is tattooed to fuck, uh, skinhead, and that idea. Basically, um, he would have recognized the signs from the tattoos and associated them with the Nazis. The difference being that now they've got shaved heads and that was their uniform. So therefore, he may be inciting that um, Hitler and the Germans, uh, well, the SS's plan for the Third Reich, um, 
was still in play. Basically, um, I say this because I was watching another video on YouTube um, which insinuated, now whether the evidence exists for this or not is beyond my control, I'm just, again, this is just my opinion, saying that that could be true, if it was proven to be true, that the Germans had invested all their money towards the end of the Second World War into business, uh, foreign business and the likes, and um, the people that were free and able to continue their work <coughs> um, were capable of um, getting into businesses and companies and places of political power. Um, under the suggestion that they actually managed to get away with being not um, interrogated and all the rest of it and tried for whatever crime, um, as a couple have. Um, mostly there have been scientists that have got away with it though because the scientists were useful to the likes of the Americans, the Russians and the British after the war anyway, so obviously they got away with it because their deal would have been you do that work for us, then obviously we'll scratch your back if you scratch ours. Um, but like I say, what I'm getting at is that that's where the Third Reich plan would come into action, because the money would have been reinvested back into German business. Um, that's not to s incite that, oh, the Germans are still fucking going and, you know, the Germans are behind it all or anything like that. What I'm saying is that key individuals who may have through the years um, shall we say continued a plan that was set up many years ago and encouraged others to follow that plan um, this may be what Notre Dame was aiming at um, on the other hand going away from the Nazis it could be the um, you know, people who, I mean, because I know there's another conspiracy going around saying, oh, the Jews are taking over the world and all this, right? Well, um, let's say the Jewish conspiracy then. Um, that could be another way that it could have possibly been men, men who were under the guise of the Jewish. Um, not necessarily Jewish men, but men who were pretending to be of a Jewish nature. I mean, we don't really know which is why this video isn't on solid fact, it's just merely on basis of opinion and throwing ideas in the wind and seeing what other people come back with. Um, so let's, uh, let's say, right, okay, then if it wasn't the Nazis, or maybe it could be a mix of the two, but the, the Jew conspiracy of um, the so-called Jew, um, Jewish people taking places in government uh, seats and power and in the US, um, or at least being under the name of the Jewish. Sorry if I'm repeating myself a bit here, it's, it's a bit difficult, I'm trying to sort of do this um, and try and be relaxed at the same time. Um, anyway, so even if the, you know, it could be that Notre Dame was pointing at that. Um, it could also just be the fact that Notre Dame was pointing at people of greed. Um, people who didn't necessarily believe in anything. Because, I mean, you could take shaved heads as um, another way of saying people who really couldn't give a monkey's about who they are or how they feel. All they really care for is money. Um, People who have little interest in anything but money. Um, shaved heads representing um, a lack of human um, a lack of human individuality, as in they they don't cherish individuality, they don't cherish culture, they don't cherish anything but money, greed and power. Um, So, basically what I'm saying is, with that first segment on its own, it, they're just directly pointing it and going, oh, it must mean the Muslims. It doesn't necessarily mean the Muslims. Um, 